Wow, I can't believe it's June already. Summer's always really busy for me, but I need to make time for this because today we are upgrading the best in-studio 3D printing enclosure that I've made. You've no doubt seen some of the other 3D print farms on YouTube, which are incredible and have a dedicated space, usually a room right full of 3D printers, but that's not where I'm at. I have this studio space, which I love. This amount of space total for 3D printing. So because of that, I have some unique requirements for my print farm. There are three main things I'm looking for from this enclosure upgrade. One, it's gotta be quiet. Two, it's gotta be safe. And three, it's gotta be efficient. Bamboo currently has an anniversary sale going on, so I picked up two P1S combos with the AMS. Let's get them set up. I went with P1S's because I already have one. It works great. I like the full enclosure. Not as big of a fan of bed slingers after my ender. And I just wanted to have more of the same printer for print farming because it's a lot easier to optimize, tune, and slice for one printer and then just put it on all of the SD cards and I can just pop, 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 done. I also can only fit four printers in here total, so that's my max until I expand, but we're not there yet. I haven't really done very much modification. I just printed um, this riser, which I quite like. Holds the AMS, keeps the glass, lets some of the air out, quite like that. I ordered another AMS for my first P1S, which is back ordered or taking a month or two to get here. So I just mounted the original spool holder here on some wood so that I can direct feed. This works really well for TPU, um, which is kind of what I'm using this machine for right now. And that'll complete the bamboo upgrades. First up is sound. Soundproofing is really important because I video edit here all day and the fans and the noise drives me nuts. So I've already built this rig in a different video. I'll just show you a couple quick highlights of what makes it special and show you the changes I've made since. The enclosure is made out of sono pan and three quarter plywood. This creates a barrier that really deadens the sound. It makes a huge difference. Now, of course, I need to vent the air that comes in and the air that goes out. Um, and those fans are actually the thing that you can hear loudest. So I've got one here going in, another one down there going in. I've upgraded the exhaust fan here coming out. I used to use this smaller fan, but it was really loud when it was running. Move the exhaust fans to the top above so that I can't hear them from inside. They're making noise in the ceiling. So that has drastically reduced the amount of sound coming out of the enclosure. So that's the main thing there. I also just tightened up the gaps so that there's less space for the sound to come out and added some magnets to very satisfyingly close the enclosure. And then I can control the fan speed here. So if I'm here working, I'll have it down a little bit lower. The second most important thing is the fumes, because I obviously work in here. I have this one tiny window over here that opens sort of, but it would be really hard to put a vent through it. It's just, I like to have it as well for fresh air. So I can't vent through there, so I vent out through the ceiling but I didn't want to create a vacuum in here. So this room actually does have air conditioning, which means I've got a constant flow of new air coming in. The enclosure takes it in through the side fans, flows through the enclosure past both of the back of the printers, and then up through the ducts into the ceiling. I'm not an HVAC guy, I don't know how this all, but it makes sense to me, so I think it's working. Um, I never can smell anything, unless I open the doors, that's when I smell stuff, but it's venting to the ceiling. There's a bunch of ceiling space above there, so I think that's pretty safe. Let me know if you can think of any upgrades that I need to do to this system, because I'm not a professional at this, but it all makes logical sense, so let me know. Moving on. And number three, efficiency. I want this to be quick and easy, start of every day. I come in, swap the plates, get things turned around and keep on rolling. To make things quick and easy to use, I'm putting in some Gridfinity systems. This is gonna hold the nozzles, just organize all this stuff up. But the main efficiency upgrade that I've made 
is adding these poop shoots. So that all of the poop lands here in this one bin. I can just pull this out and empty it. Swapping filament is easy. Got lots of space up here. And this area kind of functions as like a makeshift little workbench area where I can trim stuff, add glue, clean, take things off the bed plate, whatever I need on a regular basis. Kind of, it'll all live right here, so that makes it easy and efficient to manage these machines. The plan is to have the X1 carbon for prototyping, trying out new filaments, anything new, using that LiDAR technology to make it easy to print new things without having to tune as much. And just like general new prototyping things happens with that one. And then we have three P1Ss. First priority, making the products that I already sell, making sure all my stock is full. These three are constantly running. And then second priority is making things for the office, making things for my house, just kind of general printing, but then the other two are always printing products. So I found with just one or two printers, they were constantly making products that I sell, so I never had the opportunity to experiment or make new things or prototype, and it really held me back. I've got some exciting projects on the horizon, one of which is a product that I made a long time ago, but I finally have found the time to refine. So. Every night, my dog gets a Kong full of food and water and then it kind of mushes and freezes in there. It takes her like 20 minutes every night, it's her dessert. So it's annoying to fill these things up because the water falls out, it's a mess. So I designed this paw looking thing. Um, it's a plug and a stand, so you just screw it on, make sure it's really tight so that the water can't fall out and then uh, place it in here fill it up with water and the food and all that stuff and put it in the freezer. And then it pops off super easily and you can give it to your pup. I'm really excited to be making new products like this. This is just a random one for the pup that I've already made so it seemed like an easy win. Um, but I got some exciting new projects on the horizon that I will be sharing with you guys directly. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time.